Uh, I don't get shook up or rattled uh, interviewing most people. I've been doing this a long time, but when when the subject matter is Dave Stallworth, this is a tremendous honor. Dave, it's great to see you again. Oh, it was fantastic. You having a good time this weekend? Oh, fantastic time. What's it like to see all these guys? Well, I haven't seen these guys in 50 years, you know. A lot of them like, like little Manny. I had some classes with Manny. You know. Fantastic. Yeah, Manny yeah. Seferis is here, yeah. along with uh, 12 other uh, yeah, of the, of the players from the 64-65 yeah. team. Mm -hmm. Do you wish you could have played on that in that Final Four? Do you, do you think about that very much? It just runs through my mind and then just takes off. You know, I don't, I don't even worry about it because I know I can't change it. Nobody can change it. You know, that's true. We don't, we shouldn't worry about what we can't no, change. That's right. And why, why worry about it? And you had a pretty good career anyway. I had a very good career. <laughs> you know, I'll bet the, I'll bet the uh, game that may bother you is the loss to Kansas State in the Midwest Regional Championship game in 1964, right? That, that was probably the worst I felt during a basketball game, was uh, losing to Kansas State here at Wichita State. In your gym. In, in our gym, you know. They couldn't miss yeah. that night. They scored no, 94 they, points. That's right. That's right. They just and and uh, your contemporary at the time, Willie yeah. Morrell for Kansas State, yeah. uh, he really had an outstanding game, as you did. That was kind of yeah. a mano a mano battle between the two. Yeah. Yeah, the first half, and he had a good first half, and, and uh, the whole game, I, I, I just played my heart out. Yeah. Dave went on to play professionally with the New York Knicks mm -hmm. and the Washington, the Baltimore Bullets at the time. Yeah, yeah. You played in New York and, and won a title with your Wichita State cohort, Nate Bowman. Mm -hmm. That had to be special. Oh, it was fantastic. You know, Nate was, I mean, uh, uh, sorry that Nate had to, had, uh, had passed away. And, uh, fantastic. What's, you had so many tremendous memories created so many, many, so many tremendous memories, did so many great things in your career. What's the one, is there one moment that stands out for you, Dave, at Wichita I mean, State? The one moment that, that stood out for me was uh, a game where I scored eight points. Eight points? Eight points. But the defense was so good. I mean, team-wide, you know, the defense was so good. And I, I really felt that I had played up to my potential at that particular time. You remember time. who that was against? No, I can't. I really can't. But you can't. only had eight points. I only had eight points. But every I, other part of your game. But I had, I had something like 15 rebounds, um, eight points, had about 10 assists, you know. I passed the ball well. Um, I did everything well except I didn't score. You know. One of the things that's impressed me about these guys that, that, that spend a lot of time talking about you is how unselfish you were. You would think that a guy that averaged 25 points per game was looking for a shot. That's not the case. You passed the ball, you looked for the open man. Well, what we wanted to do, what I wanted to do, and I got this from high school, is to win. It's a win game. I mean, whatever it took. You win games, you know, and and that's that's part of a team game. You win games, you know. You're not. It's it's not like golf or uh, singles and tennis and stuff like that, you know. Where you where you really try to win for yourself, you mm -hmm. know. But you're in there to do a job for a certain for a certain people, and people doing a certain job for you. So why not do it as a team, you know? You do it as a team, you win as a team, you lose as a team. And see, and that's the most important thing, is win and to lose as a team, you know? Now, I've been a sports fan my entire life. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had a, I have a lot of athletes that I admire. You're number two on my list behind mm -hmm. Bob Gibson. Are you satisfied with being number two on my no, list? There's no question about it, Bob. You feel good about that? I met Bob. Uh, a long time ago, you talking about St. Louis? St. Louis Cardinals, Cardinals pitcher, pitcher, yeah. Pitcher, yeah. Now, see, I know, I, I knew Bob. And Bob Played basketball said, at Creighton. Right, same place, same same person. You know, I mean, he's the same person 
they was at Creighton. I didn't know him at Creighton when he went to Creighton. But, but when he became a single, you got Cardinal, to know him a little bit. I got to know him a little bit. And uh, I was very, 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 very impressed. Okay, well, I don't feel okay. too bad then. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to catch up to Dave Stallworth. Have a great weekend. It's great to see you. And uh, enjoy tonight when I'm sure you'll get about your 50th standing ovation in this building. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed every second of it, really. I did, Bob, really. All right, that's Dave Stallworth.